You might be grateful you're not dating, or you might get something out of this if you are dating. So he says, uh, Jacob writes to us, he says, I went out with this amazing girl, and now she's not responding. I mean, it's like every single time for second date update. Yeah. Okay, but keep going. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. He actually writes. I know why she's not. I want to apologize. But I don't know why she's not. He didn't tell me. He just doesn't say in the email. Jacob, how are you? I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm very curious. You've piqued my interest. What yeah. did you do to get her to not text you? Yeah. Well, I wish that I had that information for you. Unfortunately, I got a little bit, I uh, had a couple, too much to drink, and I can't exactly tell you what happened. Um, I can tell you had a really good time. Like, I remember the feeling of being on the date. We had fun. I know we had fun. Lots of laughs. But beyond that, I really, I can't say. I can't figure it out. Hmm. And you want us to get into it with her on the air? Well, yeah, I feel like this is kind of my Hail Mary. Calling you is like, it's the last ditch effort. And I do really think she's a really incredible girl. She's so smart and funny. And yeah, I, I kind of want to give it like one last shot. All right. So you want us to throw the Hail Mary pass? Absolutely. Why is it called the Hail Mary Pass? Oh, interesting. I mean, we all know what it means, but yeah, where did it get its name? Uh, Hail Mary. Well, because people teams... say Hail Mary. It's like a religious thing. Yeah, they often <laughs> pray when they throw the ball at the end of the game. <laughs> oh, well, then that makes Hail sense. Hail Mary! Uh, well, also, like, what is, where did out of pocket come from? Like, like I'm out, out of, of pocket, pocket cost? Like, I'm out of pocket. It can't no, reach I, me. You can't, you can't get me. I'm off the grid. I'm out of yeah, pocket. Yeah, but where does that come oh. from? Like, what's out of your pocket? Most things. Okay, we're getting real off topic here. Sorry. Uh, well, Jacob, do you want to weigh in on that? <laughs> I'm looking it up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> okay. Reporters who had filed stories were supposed to supply phone numbers where they could be reached in case questions arose. If a reporter was unreachable, they would say, I'm out of pocket. Oh. Not an answer, but yeah. I appreciate the effort, Abraham. Right. Right. Jacob, we're going to come back to you in a second. We're going to figure this out. Second date update. It's Ryan Seacrest. All right. Danielle's on the line. This is the second date update. Hey, Jacob, how did you meet Danielle? Let me go back to that. Sure. Okay. So uh, she works at like a cupcake bakery sort of down the street from where I live. And I happen to do yoga right next to where she works. Mm -hmm. So I've been like, you know, passing by for a while and I finally got up the courage to just go in there and ask for her number. Okay, got it. And then you go out and uh, yeah. just remind people why you think she's not getting back to you? Well, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, we had a really fun time. We had some drinks. We were laughing. I kind of don't remember every detail, but I'm, I'm not sure why she's getting back to me. Although I have a feeling I made it a fool of myself. I, I think I had one too many. And Did you I, yeah, say I something? Got... Or is it just that you had too many that maybe she... I think I just, I think I just had too many. I'm a lightweight man. I, I, I don't drink a lot. So okay, well, Jacob, hold on for a second. For me, uh, Danielle may have just yeah. bailed on us here. I'm not sure. Did okay. she bail? Well, she's not there anymore. Mark, did she bail? We're well, now you know back. how I feel, Ryan. She bailed on me, too. Uh, I know, but... Uh, we had her. We, she was there, and then she... Well, yes. here's the thing, and this is the problem. I shouldn't... I normally don't do that. I shouldn't have done it. Normally, I don't say, hey, we're going to talk to you about Jacob after this song, <gasps> but I did this why time. Why did you do well, that? Because I did it, sis. I did it, you know? But this is second date update. Mention, we, uh, I just mentioned your name, and then she hung up on us. Got her on phone. That's we, amazing. Uh, we got her back. That's like, why is that amazing? <laughs> This is how villains are created in, in the in the DC universe, okay. right? I mean, no explanation. Okay, okay now well, this is I have her sense. back. So, Jacob, be quiet. Let me try and save okay. this. Hold on. Okay. Danielle, uh, thanks for calling back, Danielle. Are you, uh, give a sec. Yeah, I'm air. here. Okay, Sorry, well, you're on the air here. with us. You're on the air with us. Uh, okay. We're calling about a guy named Jacob. You guys went out. Can you tell us about Jacob? And when I say his name, oh what do you think? Oh, my God, Jacob. Oh, my God, that guy. I have gotten so much mileage out of this story the last few weeks. Like, Why? What do you mean by mileage? Uh, this, it's, he was crazy. Like, I mean, it, it was really nice at first, but then he got super drunk and spilled wine all over me. And, like, I, I honestly, I, I don't want to get into all of it. It was just, it was a lot. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah. So, I mean, he, may I ask just a couple quick questions here? So, you go out with this guy, sure. and you were into him. Like, what did you like about Jacob? 
to say yes to the date? I mean, he was super cute, friendly, outgoing, but like mm, once he got alcohol in him, he like took it to another level. Like he was definitely the drunkest guy in the room, you know? Um, and I just like don't need that type of crazy in my life. Um, I mean, it's cool if you have a good sense of humor, but like, I don't need a total train wreck. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need that much attention everywhere I go. And I mean, I've dated guys who can't handle alcohol before. And it's unattractive. It is unattractive. Yeah, no. Can't, like, if you yeah. get sloppy, sloppy. Yeah, like, you're it's just like making messy. first impressions. Uh, yeah, it's gross. Okay, like, what if he, what if he told you? Look, he realized he screwed up. Would you want to see him again? Honestly, I mean, I don't know. It would take a lot for me to say yes to that. It was super, super embarrassing. Like he would have to really try to salvage this whole situation. All right, well, Daniel, <laughs> Jacob is on the line. Jacob, you better get to work. Oh, oh my god, is what she said true, Jacob? All right. I I I don't know. I take her word for it. I guess I I'm not <laughs> sure. You don't Dude. even remember? Uh, I do not know. Oh my god! Yeah, of course you don't. Like you have to know your limits. Do not ever do that on a first date. Like do it by yourself at home. Fine, but like that is not a good first impression. I know. Did something happen? Like specifically, what went down? <laughs> Yes, you spilled wine all over my shirt, so I was, like, stained, okay? Um, yeah, if you got a little queasy. Um, you, like, threw up outside. Oh, no, I did not. No way. There's no way I would yes. remember that. Wow. No, you were, like, barfing, and it was gross, and I'm sorry, but, like, I definitely didn't want to kiss you after that. It was just too oh. much. Okay, to be fair, though, I think I was just nervous because I really, I don't know, I really liked you. I think you're so attractive and pretty and intelligent, and I think I just let that kind of get the better of me. We were having fun, and yeah. I just had too many. So, Jacob, look, here's the thing. You heard Danielle. She was yes. not into it. She said you got to do a lot to get her to go out to you again, but the good news is... That indicates yeah. there's a possibility you could go out with her again. So you better start True. thinking thoughtful, romantic, nice, cool guy I'm things. I'm thinking, yes. I'm thinking wholesome. I'm thinking like mini golfing or we could go to the pier and go on a walk or get ice cream yeah. or something so far away from any alcohol-related endeavors. It would just be like... But is this a pattern, Jacob? Out. Like, is this what happens no, every no. time you drink? No, no, definitely not. It's not a pattern. This is, I don't drink that much. That's, I think that's sort of part of why it got the better of me is because I don't, I'm a lightweight. I don't have a huge tolerance. I haven't, you know, I'm not a party guy. So maybe, Danielle, after you take your walk with your two scoops of ice cream and a mm, sugar yeah. cone, walk in yeah. the pier, maybe this becomes cute. I mean, yeah, as long as I can meet, like, sober you and not drunk you, like, two oh, totally wow. different people. I don't even know where drunk me is. He's gone. He, I put him on a bus. Uh, it's sober right. me. Charming. Oh, Charming. That's cute. Charming. All right, we're going to let you guys take it from here. You okay. have each other's numbers. Text each other. Bye. Wow. Thank you, Daniel. I can't believe Thank that was Jacob. salvageable. <laughs> the guy said he made a mistake. He doesn't usually drink. He's a lightweight. I think when she said he'd have to do a lot, she's telling us the door's open. The yeah, that, guys, that's guys true. Cute. Guys, charming. That I was... like guys, charming. It would have been, it it been a no for me. I put him on a bus. Like, what is that? That was cute. <laughs>